the uh, Charter Committee update. We not say out of schedule. <laughs> How do you do it? That's when you can top things off. Yeah, he makes fun. it look so effortless. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trained well. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to thank you on the behalf of the Charter Review Committee for having us here to update and let you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, of the nine articles of the uh, Charter, the committee has gone through and um, made changes and updates through Article 1 through 5. Um, the next meeting will continue on with Article 6 and the plan is to just continue going through each one of the articles as in um, discuss as as the topic as the article comes up um, they are planning on having some additional public meetings but it has not been discussed as to when uh, it, if the board is interested in having one in a specific time throughout the charter you know I can make a suggestion to the committee that we have that for any particular article itself um, online if you go to our website um, on, the, on the bylaw page where all the bylaws and the charter is listed at the very bottom there's a section that has recodification there's a link to the zoning um, information and there's a link to the new to the draft copy which is what I have here and it shows all the changes that the, the committee is suggesting as we go through um, we got that this weekend just so you know okay and uh, as Bob mentioned the uh, information that was approved by town meeting has not been put in here yet that will be put in this week so it'll that will be put out on the website this week as well and then presented to the committee the committee will be given a reminder at the, our next meeting um, which won't be scheduled until after town meeting we unfortunately had to slow down a little bit and put things on hold um, due to my medical leave and my um, forgetting to post a meeting oh. <laughs> so you yell at yourself? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, know. So uh, between elections and everything, it was like the meeting's happening today, and I didn't post it. Not good. So we I, had to cancel it. I have a question, Laura. So the, the, the proposed changes are generally clarifying in nature and simplifying in nature. They're not necessarily new scope. Although Correct. There are a couple places where uh, maze are turned into shells. So that, that is a hard, harder language, but it um, gives you the license to apply it rather than mandates it. Is any of this um, new language, new scope, that isn't in some form in the original document? For example, the Town Forest Committee, the Historical Commission, the Charter Review Committee are all added. It's all added text here, yeah? Correct. Um, if I understand your question, that's correct. Anything that's in red is added text. I know it's added, but is it added scope? Is it represent new? Some of it does, yes, yes. Then to that extent, um, why? I guess I'm confused. If we're adding new text here, and it's going to be seen by town meeting, right? Well, this is just a draft so far that the charter committee is putting together. Ultimately, it will go to a town meeting, maybe November. If it's ready, maybe a later town meeting. Okay. But that, that meeting would be a whole, would be every known pending, uh, anything out of this review plus anything that's pending from any prior town meeting. Okay. And prior to that, um, once, once the committee is done with this and once the Board of Selectmen kind of signs off and says okay, it, or, or even after, but at some point it needs to go to town council and town sure. council needs to approve yeah. right. what we've done. And then at that point, um, you know we have two options it can go to legislation or it, it can go to the voters which I very 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 highly recommend that it goes to the voters yeah. um, as opposed to home rule petition correct yeah, I agree um, yeah. just just because I feel that the voters that, you know this runs our town and I feel like the voters Old should have a say right, to right. Mm -hmm. um, does this go to town meeting as a package up or down so. up or down that's yeah. it and yeah there's so obviously there's the same to the voters but correct okay. So no amendments. Correct. Okay. Uh, well, 
and the, the trickier part is this goes at the same time as the zoning bylaws, which is really not well, ideal and scheduling maybe it, maybe at it all. Won't. So, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah that's not really <laughs> ideal scheduling. Trouble. Well, ma- you know, <laughs> Laura loves special town meetings. I do. <laughs> <laughs> special town meetings, special elections. And I'd like to point out in five years, there's been 14 elections. <laughs> but um, the, the, not voluntary on our part. <laughs> no, so I want to point that out again. <laughs> but that's okay. I actually enjoy doing elections, believe it or not. It's a lot, it's the, a lot of the fun. The state was in the last one, and I was speaking to her, and she said Laura's layout and running of an election was the best she'd seen. Mm. Excellent. So. Yeah. How did the new voting machines work? I know that's off topic, but I'm curious. <laughs> um, actually, it was awesome. There was no errors. Uh, we had one ballot jam, and it was actually because the voter tried to put the ba- a second ballot in before the first one was done. Um, the biggest problem is as you're scanning the ballots through, it's taking an image of the ballot, mm-hmm. so therefore you have like a four-second delay. Um, the company, I was speaking to the vendors, and they've actually put that down to about three seconds. Um, d- we, it was awesome. Um, I just sent a very lengthy email to the state on, you know, the different uh, issues that we had, and there were none. Is the purpose of the photographs an audit trail, or is it re- replace the paper? Is it another form of paper reduction? Um, it's No, it's not to replace the paper. Um, right now, according to state mass state law, we have to keep the ballots for 22 months after an election. The hope is is that once we have the um, images, that we can change that to 30 days. Mm-hmm. Um, and and also, you know, in reality, all the ballots from the last elections that we've last five or six elections that we've had are in this building. If this building burns mm-hmm. and there's a problem, we're we're in trouble. The ballots might be the least of our worries, though. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, <it's> always <laughs> is, is, is this something that you put on like a flash drive? It's on a thumb drive. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. So. Uh, so back to topic. Re- yes. regard, regarding <laughs> the uh, in section three, uh, article three, Laura, uh, elect, elected officers and boards, were there any substantive changes there? Um. I don't see. None. Any. None at this point. No. Well, what's, what's the process for going back if this board wants to revisit any of the language previously discussed? Uh, what well, we none. Any of this can be discussed at any time. Yeah. Um, we, where the committee itself is just going through articles right. one through nine in order. We have gone back, and that would be my question to you: is is what would be the best way for us to communicate to you? I, w- I know what I would like to see happen, but um, <coughs> yeah. because I I. I you know, as the town clerk would love to see the board of selectmen involved in this process. Yeah, so, um, whether that be that someone attend the meetings um, or someone become a liaison between, is a part of the communication between the committee and, and the board. Um, what I would like to see happen is one of you be appointed as a liaison to be a communication between, uh, between myself and or Alan. The, the town moderator. That wouldn't forestall having a complete presentation to the full board, though, right? Correct. You, you'd still do that. Oh, and definitely. The board would at that point have an opportunity to make subsequent amendments to suggest them to the committee, I guess. Correct. Um, but what I would like to see happen is that a little bit more uh, communication, a little bit more often mm-hmm. with, with the board. You know, it, this, this is what we did this week. Right. You know, um, the minutes are out there on, online. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, and the minutes are actually, I have to say, pretty detailed in that what we do, you know, what's been voted on that week. And then again, you have this is the changes that we make. But, it, or if you would like, you can just, you know, submit changes. Um, I very often send out messages to the, to the committee um, ahead of time. And if you would like to submit a change that you'd like to see us, you know, discuss or, you know, totally, you know, up to you as to how you. I would we'll just like to see a little bit more communication how, between how the board often and the do you meet, Lauren? We, um, up until me going on medical leave, we met uh, twice a month. Um, since I've been back, I think we've only met once, uh, and we won't meet again again until after the so sometime in May, and it'll go back to twice a month again every so, other week. So after the town meeting, then you're going to go back to twice a month. Yeah, that's and the plan. You when I was looking at this, it. And I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but it seemed to me that the characterization I saw was that there was a lot of work on form 
yeah. rather than substance. In other words, it was like the clean. Is this the first pass to clean it up, and then? Well, let, let me just kind of you know, and I and I'm this is something that's new to me. And I have actually there's a uh, woman that were that is um, on the state level. Her name's Marilyn. I can't. Her last name's escaping me. Um, and her sole job is to work with communities and, and their charter. Um, so I spoke with her a little bit in, in the beginning of this, but a charter review committee only has so much leeway as to what they can do. They can only deal with form and that sort of thing. If you want to get into substance, then you have to have um, a charter commission. commission formed, and then you get into the substance. So at this point, the committee is going through, taking a look at, the form part of it making suggestions on some of the substance and then at that point determining whether or not we need to come up with a commission so if there's a need for substantive changes then we're going to have to form a commission correct rather than a committee. would, would a right? substantive change include the changing of an uh, elected board to an appointed board or is that not substantive that's that's a question we'd have to ask yeah. the state but my guess is yes okay. that is a substance change anything that changes with the form of government it is was the explanation that I was given. Um, um, this is also in your November agenda item uh, as a discussion point and from the one public meeting, I think you've just had one public meeting so far. Correct. Uh, Dan was there, yep. I was there. Um, it's clear that through this process, even if it's form only, all the ideas ought to get thrown out there and captured. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and many ideas came through at the public process that are not in their document that were presented as Dan or myself or others as good ideas we thought mm -hmm. um, but it's not captured they don't agree yet uh, but the minutes should record you know should, should reflect the discussion yeah. and and I agree with Laura completely this you know in your liaison assignment one of the spots is set aside for ad hoc charter committee um, it's just about the time where the selectmen need to be involved in the next two months starting and then carrying all the way through um, and while I'll recognize that the first path may be sort of the cleaning up, if you will, in the charter committee, um, that doesn't mean the rest of the discussion shouldn't start then and there and be taken very seriously, because then you can go to town meeting, whether it's <coughs> November or whenever it is, and say, here's some of the form changes we want, here's the substance, substantive changes they want, or that we think that, that we want going forward. <coughs> and my understanding is the charter commission is more like a two-year process. Charter committee is a one writer. Right. Laura, you were talking about how you would like to see the review process unfold. I, I don't know if you got all your thoughts out on that. Uh, yeah, well, how would you like to see our participation? And I would like to at least have it. Liaison, I got. I mean, that, that's that. it. I mean, that, okay. I would like to see someone, you know, as part of the communication between mm -hmm. um, the board and the committee to have someone to communicate with um, uh, myself or Alan. You know, um, in the idea, my thought would be the idea would be to get your ideas of what we should be discussing as part of the committee, brought, you know, brought to the committee so that they can be brought up. Um, again, you know, the in the beginning, the committee was asked to keep it to um, the committee level, meaning, you know, deal with the form of the document itself. Uh, to take the ideas of the substance of it that, that might change the government, that might require a commission, and keep those ideas as part of the minutes, as part of record, and then at that point we can decide whether or not we need to form a commission. The idea was is that the document that the committee comes up with would go before town meeting and then to the voters. So is that what's happening now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, uh, there is the, where's the, also the gray area of no one can tell, <coughs> neither Laura nor myself or anyone, what belongs in a committee versus a commission. So, for instance, the board last fall discussed possibly a desire to change the town accountant to be the town accountant slash finance director. That's something we specify in our charter. We don't know if that requires a charter commission. Is that a substantial change? doesn't seem like it, but who knows? That's a question for the state. Only the state can make that determination. And I can have another conversation with Marilyn a little bit about um, uh, what is considered to be substantial. So far, the only definition I have is anything that changes the form of government. Right. 
needs to go to a you commission. Mean between like town and city. Correct. Or okay. or elected or appointed boards. And there's certainly disagreement among committee members as to what that means from the couple of meetings. So, so, so what I'm wondering is, is it possible for you to cull from those notes and do a summary of these are the these are the key public, you know, these are the key ideas that have come out from those public forums. But, um, yeah, we don't like are the, the ones like the ones things that, are that you have not put in here necessarily. The things you haven't put in there, but people have suggested. We we <laughs> yeah, want the okay, summary right, of that. Right. I'd like sure. to know yeah. where, where's the area where there's most interest in doing tuning or adjustments or inputs because you've got what's approved mm -hmm. but one of my questions was what's the most volatile area or what's the most challenging for you to at this point as you look back what's got the most pent up interest uh, <laughs> not too much. I'm, I'd like to go through that before I before the document again before I answer that question qu I mean I'd uh. like to know that when you finally got it so. <laughs> the thing that I was most struck by looking at this copy compared to just the one public meeting that we were at, which admittedly was long ago, was the tone of the public meeting was very much towards making the charter a smaller, more concise document and not listing everything under the sun. Yeah. So one example was how many boards and committees do you really list in there? And what was dis discussed that night, albeit a, a discussion among many, was the fewer the better. And now what's in here is an enormous expansion. Oh. So that's a philosophical <laughs> question because you don't want to have to, you know, for instance, the selectmen form a committee. Uh, the need for the committee goes away. You don't want it to be in the charter and have to remove it from the and charter. And then it has to go to the voters to exactly. take it off, which is silly. So yeah. my point that night, and I, and I know Dan was there as well, was just think of the bodies that have to be there by state law um, and have to be there for some other reason. Um, and just list something as a catch-all, all other boards appointed by the selectmen, for instance. Mm -hmm. And leave that generic and then have separately a selectman's policy that says these are the boards that we currently appoint. That way the charter doesn't have to change all the time that the need for boards and committees change. So it's one step above ad hoc, which by definition is short term. Yeah. Um, but we eliminated two or three uh, committees in the last couple of years that just stopped meeting the land bank committee there was no need for. It. The tele telecommunications and technology committee. There's just no need for it. So I just caution putting things into a charter that seem to sort of belong forever. So that's the kind of discussion that was had at the public level, at least. Um, just as a little bit of an added note, kind of, this was originally done as an instructional motion to go through and clean up the charter and to fix things like the definition of days and um, the timing and you know some, some of the reorder. Um, and my, my fear in this is that it's becoming um, a lot broader and that it's gonna turn into a commission. And let me explain that. It, it, I think the decision needs to be made. Are we gonna stick to the original instructional motion? Are we gonna go ahead and take advantage of the opportunity of going through this and making it so that it does go a lot broader and does become a commission. Um, and if that's the case, how is it going to be approached right. to town meeting? That's something that needs to be um, decided upon. And I think the Board of Selectmen had, needs to have a big say in that. You and, know. And don't the commissioners need to be elected by the voters? I think that's what we did in 1980. I, I don't know the answer to no. that, but I, yes. be, I believe the answer is yes. So we but need, there's a timing issue with respect to ballot. Right. Uh, yeah. right. Um, there's a representation you need to have. I forget if it's by precinct, I think. Yeah, it I, I believe it's by that. precinct. Yeah. yeah, the whole town needs to be represented evenly right. in that commission. Um, so, you know, it, are we going to stick to the original instruction or motion to go through and clean up the document, or are we going to take advantage of that and go further mm -hmm. in? Um, and that's where the committee sh struggles with, yep. you know, how, how, you know, and is in a disagreement as to how much we can do you know with that so if so um if we're trying to do everything at once it has to be a commission but if the board of selectmen want to propose a change that's just to one area that can go to the to the warrant right or not there's mm -hmm. no the if you're making any change changes, to I'll say. it's got to go through a commission uh, so yeah. any ch any change to the charters have to go through a any commission. substantive changes that affect if the, the state government, decides yeah. it's substantial and that's where okay. you can't even the, the difference between, because the assessors have had this discussion, yeah, right. appointing and electing, 
you would think that's a substantial change. I'm not sure that it is. Hmm. It would be question, the state that would determine. How about the library board of trustees? That, that issue came up the night we were yeah, there. Yeah, same, okay. same, same exact right. situation. Um, what is the process for the state deciding what's the difference between the two? Is it a like sound like a long process to just say yes that is or no that isn't a substantive change? You know, I don't know the answer to that. I'd, let me call Marilyn and, and get a little bit more information on that. And, okay. and that would be a that would be a good piece of information. That would yeah. be a good piece okay. of information. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I believe that the it's not a long process. Okay. It, because there is the reason why I say that is because there is a um, division of the state that is dedicated just to dealing with and that's home rule charters. Kind of what I was getting at. It seemed like maybe at those meetings that you hold maybe a good idea for someone to be there from the state to say well no that's not actually that's you can do that or no you can't do that yeah I doubt very way. much we'd get them here at every meeting but even, but even one would be, be good you <laughs> certainly could probably take the information down summarize right. it. right these are the things that have been suggested do these fall into the realm of substantive or not mm -hmm. right right I'd okay. much rather know so. where the ice is then and yeah. not go there. Right, then. right, right. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll give her a call and um, send. A, I'll send a message out to Bob and the response, and then he can okay. forward that on to you guys. And um, okay, all right. Is your view that anything you've done so far is substantial? It's substantive. Is not. There was a couple of, and it, to be honest with you, it's escaping me at this point. But there was a couple of things that kind of worried me, okay. um, and I was able to reel them back in. So I think we're we're good. So your bias, at least your your involvement, has been to keep it simple, stay within the four corners of the original. I've been giving them a runner for their money. <laughs> Mr. Keep Brown. it simple. <laughs> I'm trying. I just actually had a quick question for you, Bob. Um, I know I saw in section 3.2 that it still has the language of the board of selectmen shall appoint, amongst other things, the town accountant. Do I have that wrong? I thought we had changed that structure. No, um, once no, a year. no, we okay. we apport the. That's a very yeah. important piece of the governance. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah no, I, so I was just trying to recall from the town meeting when you were doing restructuring yeah. of the. Um, it was just no. the name. It yeah. was really just the oh, name. Oh, okay. Right. Town okay. accountant yeah. slash finance director, right? Okay. As opposed to. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, the, there's history there. The uh, former charter commission was very clear on the fact that the, both the uh, town council and the town accountant should be appointed by the elected board not by the town manager as, as a check and balance sure yeah. and in fact that same governance now applies to the rmld because of the abuses of like 15 years ago and that's a very mm. typical structure in yeah. towns not so much cities but towns right. okay. any other questions for the board no laura thank you yeah, keep thanks. up your great work i would laura. thanks i would just like to clarify um so you're going to let me know what we're going to do as far as communication between yeah, we'll have we'll talk a liaison about, and right. we'll okay. let you know. Yeah. 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 It would be helpful if you'd ask the committee, as part of their work, to have a running total of summary, if you will, of things that they're discussing, mm -hmm. but not necessarily agreeing to change because it's outside, right. outside the four corners. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even if it's just a, a single yeah. sentence or a bullet yeah. that yeah, says right. this it's is the topic. And yeah. you're giving some kind of an update at annual town meeting? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. I think really. Alan might. And the other request is if we could leave change marks on until we... Yeah. It's, it's always helpful to know what used helpful. to be there yeah. and what is being proposed. So the red and blue is good. We like okay. Yeah, the red yeah. and blue is good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and um, at w this week when I add the so changes, the town meeting has already been approved. It'll be a different yeah. color. So that, and I'll point that out to the committee. That okay. it'll be so that way we're aware that it's already been approved by town meeting. Okay. Right. Good. Very okay. good. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Have a nice night. Take care. Likewise. Forty-five. Right on schedule.